Hey guys, Dan here from CLE Tech, and today we're going to take a look at what's on my Android for early 2016. Now the best part of Android to me is the amount of customization that is available at your fingertips and essentially becomes a way to show off some of your personality through your phone. So what I wanted to do was create a new series where you submit your home screen or phone setups and I will feature them in my new series called What's on Your Android. Now depending on the submission volume, these videos could be anywhere from weekly to bi-weekly or even monthly. All the necessary information can be found in the description below and I honestly cannot wait to see what you guys send me. Alright, so let's get into what's on my phone. Starting off with the obvious is the phone itself and right now my daily driver is the gold Nexus 6P that was announced and released a month ago at CES. Now I absolutely love the subtle gold color to the back of the Nexus with the black front. Since I really do love the gold on the Nexus 6P, I don't really want to cover up the back, but if you happen to be a little bored with the back of your Nexus, you can always throw on a case like the ones that I have here from Poetic, or of course you can go the slick wraps way and pick up one of these new leather skins that look amazing. Links to the cases and skins will be in the description below, along with most of the apps that I feature in this video. My home screen is pretty simple, but it works for me. My launcher of choice right now is Nova Launcher. I chose that over Google Now simply because I want to scale back the icon size and change the icon packs, along with some other customization options. The clock widget is from the stock Google clock, and the battery widget is from Battery Widget Reborn. At the bottom are my two rows of my most used apps, the apps that I use on a daily basis. The home folder contains my most used smart home apps like the August app to unlock my front door, Chamberlain to open my garage, Google OnHub for my router, Hue for my lights, the Nest app for my thermostat, smoke detectors, and camera, and finally, the Ring app for my video doorbell, which I will have a review on soon. The rest of the row is filled with my social media apps like Facebook and Facebook Messenger, Instagram, and the stock Twitter app. I usually use Phoenix, but right now I have reverted back to the Twitter app, and I don't really know why. If you have any suggestions for really good Twitter apps, please let me know in the comments below. The second row is where you'll find my email app of choice, which right now is Microsoft Outlook. You'll also find YouTube and Creator Studio, which is what I use to monitor my channel analytics and comments. Rounding out the rest of that row is Spotify, my music app of choice, strictly because I've just been using it from the start and I'm really comfortable with it. And next to that is Google Play Music, which I also use, and that's because I can upload my own music from my library and stream them whenever I want to. In my dock is the standard phone, messenger, app drawer, Chrome, and Play Store setup that I've had since the start of using Android. Since I'm not using the Google Now launcher, I'm missing my favorite feature where I can swipe from left to right to quickly access Google Now. In order to supplement that, I just used the Google Now widget and expand it to take up most of the page. At the bottom, I also added the Google Sound search widget, just in case I wanted to find out what song was playing. Finally, my last page to the right of my home screen is where you'll find a couple more widgets like the Today Calendar widget, and beneath that is a Task Manager widget from the Tasks app. Finally, taking a quick look at my app drawer, you will find the rest of my apps, including some favorites like Backdrops, which is where you'll find my current wallpaper and a lot of other amazing wallpapers. There is a lot to choose from, and they all have that sort of material design flat-like look to them, which is very appealing to me, and I change wallpapers often, so this app is perfect. Cabinet is my file manager of choice, mostly because of the design of the app and its ease of use. The icon pack that I'm currently using is candy cons, but I tend to alternate between a few others, like polycons, sunshine icons, and glim. Chroma keyboard is a newer keyboard that resembles that of the stock Google keyboard, but has a few welcome changes like an added number row, size customization, and also changes color based on the app that you are using, which is pretty cool, but I've been noticing that I make more mistakes when typing due to the added number row in the keyboard and the little space that it gives you. Native Clipboard is a wonderfully designed and extremely helpful clipboard for all things that I have copied and pasted on my device. Now I know some phones have that feature built in, but stock Android currently does not, and this app helps out in that area. Pushbullet is one of my favorite apps for pushing pictures and links from phone to phone, computer to phone, computer to computer, etc. My Tasks app is called Tasks, Astrid to Do Clone, and is also the widget that was on one of my home screens. It syncs with Google Tasks, is super simple, and has a great updated material design look to it. I use it to keep track of what videos or tasks that I need to work on next, although I always feel like the list is never ending. I also mentioned earlier that I use Today Calendar as my main calendar, and that's mostly because of the UI. If you haven't noticed, I'm a huge fan of material design heavy apps, and this one has been updated beautifully. There are a ton of other features, but I'm pretty simple and I only stick to the basics. 
In efforts to keep this video short, I only highlighted some of the more unique apps that I almost use on a daily basis, but if there's something you notice and would like more info on, please let me know in the comment section below. I have also linked all the apps that I've mentioned in this video in the description, and I truly can't wait to get started on the What's On Your Android series and see everyone's phone setups. So as always guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.